So just another quick video about virtual TK 2023 and a change that's been done to the version numbering in the new version. Uh, because this is an older version, and if you look down here at the bottom, it's called version 8.5, and then 64, because it's 64-bit Windows, and then the build number. And I then have to go into licenses to see that this is actually version DDA 2021, uh, and then the same 64-bit and the same build number, right? So uh, that has changed now. If I go into the latest version instead, so version 2023 now, I'm going to settings again. Now, that's now just labeled version 2023. So no more 8 numbering. So the 8 numbering came with version 8.0, of course, back in 2014 or 15. And it had then 8.1 and 8.2. And then they started adding the numbers. So it's also labeled 2018 and 20, uh, 2020. And version 20, uh, which the one then came out, which was also version 8.5. And that all got a little, a, little, uh, a little weird because it had all this numbering. So now they got rid of uh, the eight dot numbering uh, and uh, only have uh, the year left. And what you can also see is that it doesn't say 64-bit anymore. That's because 64-bit is, uh, is now the standard. Uh, so uh, it doesn't say that anymore. And it still has the build, build number. And this build number also tells us that this is still the old, the old code base for the software because it keeps climbing. So they haven't started over. They're still just adding to the existing software with the new features. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with build numbers, that's something that gets attached to uh, a software when it's uh, it's uh, compiled, compiled and packaged. And then uh, they get that, like the next number. And then that goes through a lot of testing, automated testing, uh, alpha testing, beta testing, and so on. And only the ones that pass all that eventually becomes the public version. Uh, so we don't see all these build numbers, but we just know the next one is going to be a higher build number, right? So uh, that's why the, these build numbers are still important, and also how we can see that it's still building on the same software, really. But the uh, important part is here is that the 8 dot uh, labeling or versioning is gone. And uh, if we look at the 32-bit uh, version to check that out, so I'll just close this one. Then that's also now named just the year. Uh, and the, so the eight dot numbering has also gone from the 32-bit version, but this is then they kept the same paradigm. So this is still version 2020. Uh, and that simply means that it's not including the stems because the stems can't run on the 32-bit architecture. Um, but apart from that, uh, you can see, because this is the same build number, that they're still adding to the 32-bit version for the users who need that, like if you're on Windows 7 or something like that. And then we can also see that the, the 32 number has now been moved to the 32-bit version, so it's the one that explicitly say 32, whereas the 64-bit version doesn't say anything anymore because it's default. So that's really the change, but the important part is also that the, they're still adding to the software, they're still bug fixing software and all the other features that I added also still added to the 32-bit version. So apart from stems, uh, you're not really losing anything by staying on a 32-bit version of virtual DTA. Finally, another funny little number is that if you look over here, there's a dot in the numbering, and it has a secondary number. Here it's 1916, and it'll also be the same in the 64-bit version. And that's actually the label for the collection of mappings. So uh, that means that whenever there's a new mapping uh, coming uh, or added, um, then uh, this number climbs when a new hardware has been uh, mapped and I include it natively supported. That also means that uh, that if you uh, then need a new hardware, if you're uh, like right on the cutting edge, you just gotten a brand new hardware that's not supported yet, and then when it is eventually supported, you will notice that this number has climbed because you're your, uh, your mapping has 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 been added, right? Uh, and actually, that's the fun little thing in that also because uh, you may not need to update virtual DTA for that to happen. Uh, it may also just be that the, the support will tell you, well, if you run virtual DTA for a few seconds, then restart it, then your controller will be uh, will be supported, and that's because they've then virtual DTA then da automatically downloads the new mapping collection, and this number climbs one one or two or three or whatever, and then you, all of a sudden, your your brand new uh, cutting edge hardware is supported. So that's what this final number after the dot means.
So that's just a, a short video about the changes that's been done to the to, to the version numbering of in virtual DD 2023.